guys, Vicky J here with a quick versus uh, product review. And the battle is on curl products. Like I said, I've said in uh, another video, I am natural underneath. And so I, um, I'm always looking for a great product that's going to help me enhance my curls, hold my curls, uh, pamper my curls. <laughs> so the first one that I have here, I got this one from my local beauty supply store and this was seven dollars this is the beautiful textures curl control defining pudding and it says it's for mixed textures um it's kind of dark in here i apologize um okay and this one is just for curly wavy kinky curly and frizzy intense moisture and i'm gonna open it up and let you guys see what that looks like okay oh this got some let's see Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna. I hate the way this stuff smells. So that's. <laughs> I think because I've. That's what it looks like. Okay, kind of looks like mayo. See how it's sliding? <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like mayo. When I first got this product, when I opened it in the beauty supply store, shh, I'm not supposed to do that, but I did. <laughs> it smelled great to me, and I was like, mm, kind of smells like mango. And so I was like, okay, I can, I can roll with that because I have another product that I'll show you in another video that I use for my braids. And I was like, okay, I'll use it because I like that mango smell. And that mango love lasted for about 20 minutes <laughs> because after I put this on my hair, and when I put stuff on my curls, I need to make sure it's not on my hair, <laughs> on my hand. But when I put stuff on my curls, I like to put it in the four sections and massage it in and get enough of that product so all of my my strands can feel some love. So I put a good amount of it. So um, after like 20 minutes, the smell just became nauseating. And it was just like, I don't like the smell. <laughs> I moved my head and it was just like, you get like a whiff of it. And it, yeah. And also another thing that I did not like, which was really serious, was about 20 minutes after I put it on my scalp felt like it was on fire and it could just be because from the mango um it has it has mango olive vera coconut olive oil soy argan oil shea and that mango butter so I don't know what um and other chemicals but I don't know what it was that was really making my head feel like it was on fire and I saw that it had jinxed and rosemary and stuff like that. But I, not something that I would think that. It wasn't even like it was like a cooling. Like for example, um, I think it's Paul Mitchell. There's like a, um, a lavender wash. And then my hair, my scalp feels like it's like a cooling kind of relaxing kind of thing. This just felt itchy. Like my hair just needed to be like dunked in like the toilet. <laughs> and just like soaked in there. It was so uncomfortable. So after 20 minutes... And then I try to think maybe it was something else that it was just not agreeing with me that day. I always say I like to try a product a few times before I toss it. Every time I use it, I think I used it about five times and I had the same reaction. So this bottle is probably going to get tossed because I wouldn't even recommend it for anyone else. I wouldn't hand it over to anyone else. I think it's a horrible product. Um, and I know that sounds really mean because it didn't even really do anything for my curls. Um, I like to pair uh, my Eco Style Gel with my um, like any kind of curl pudding or smoothie that I put in, and this just didn't work with that, so that made me a little upset. It's going in the trash. I have no purpose for it. I don't like it. I wouldn't recommend it. But now for a better product. <laughs> Okay, I tried the Shea Moisture products. I think the first one I tried was the Deep Mask Treatment, and I loved it. And that's, I think it's like in a yellow container. It has like, not container, but yellow uh, labels. So I tried that a few times. I loved it. And that was when I was uh, transitioning that I was using that one. But now that I've completely transitioned, I'm about, I think, three years in natural. And um, this product is... You see, did you see the difference between when I opened the other one? I was like, wow, and this one I really <laughs> looks like I like that smell. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm not gonna waste any because sorry, but that's what it looks like. Let me see if I can get a good little okay, that's what it looks like. And this one you can get at Target, Walgreens, and they go on sale pretty often. And actually, I just pulled up Target's website and this is on clearance right now for four. 98 498 
please don't let that get past you. This usually goes for a little bit more than six bucks. Maybe, actually, I think it goes for a little more than that. I think it's like maybe a little more than eight bucks or nine bucks or so. I can't remember. I just grab it because I love it. <laughs> it's worth it though. It's worth the price. Now, um, um, it was a small business and they uh, just slowly started coming up in the natural world. There are not a lot of products that natural girls use. Um, when I first started transitioning, I was kind of like a product junkie and there were a lot of different products that I was like, oh my God, this person said it makes their curls so amazing. You see somebody's hair and then their hair looks like this and their curls are like bouncy and you're just like, oh, if I use that product, I'm going to achieve that same one. It doesn't always happen that way. So you kind of have to try different products out to find that product that works for you. This product works for me. Eco Styler works for me. And I use the olive oil. That's the green one. I got a big old tub that I got from my beauty supply store. This works for me. This is the curl enhancing. I don't know if I said it because I was so excited. The curl enhancing smoothie with coconut oil and a lot of different oils. Neem oil. Um, it's for thick curly. Gives you moisture, body, and shine. And yes, it does. I use this when my hair is dry and I use it after I wash my hair. Like I said with my Eco Style gel. I will um, wet my hair and twist it with the gel, have some gel, have some of the curl enhancer, and it's amazing. And it smells great, and my husband loves the way it smells too. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I would definitely, definitely get this product. I'm sorry to Beautiful Textures, but this one you should have probably done. I don't know, like I said, some things work for some people, and maybe there's just something in it that doesn't work for me. I didn't think it did anything for my curls. I didn't think it did anything for my scalp, and my head, and my hair is all one thing. So if it's not working with the scalp and it's not working with my hair, I can't. I can't support it. And I'm not going to purchase that again. It's a shame because I, I lost seven bucks from that. But you know what? This is a great product. And so I'm going to say hooray, hooray for this. And um, yeah, definitely check it out. I know a lot of girls on here talk about this product. But like I said, it's very light. I'm just going to show you a little bit. So I want to show you in case you never... See, that's how the consistency looks. I keep looking at... Can I just explain? I keep looking at my screen because I'm just making sure everything's in focus. But I should be looking at you guys. And I apologize if I look crazy and I'm looking to the side. But that's the consistency. You wipe it and see. And that's what goes in your hair. And sometimes I even put it on my braids. I know I'm not supposed to because it's curly hands and it's probably going to make my curls come out more with my braids. But I love the smell so that's why I do it. I love having that smell on my and my hair loves it so much so it's like hey we're in braids but we're missing our yummy curl and hand stuff <laughs> so that's my review and that's my verses once again this is the battle the battle is between the, the curl enhancing puddings and it goes and that one wins guys hands down if you want to check it out please go to your local target or walmart i'm gonna block this side target target or walmart i'm sorry not walmart i don't think it's in walmart actually I always find it at Target or Walgreens. Um, like I said, it's on clearance right now, $4.98, $4.98 on Target's website. Please do check this out and get it then, okay? Once again, guys, thanks for watching and visit my blog at RagingReviewer.com. This one makes me excited because I love comparing two different products and seeing which one um, wins based on my opinion. And thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.